Hi guys! Today's video will be on DIY nail stickers. For this DIY, I will be relying on tape. Polishes I used are the base coat, white and red nail polish, and a top coat. For this design, you can use either normal tape, nail tape, or even both. I will be using both to show you in this video. I also use three types of scissors, a small one for fine and delicate cutting, regular scissors, and a chevron scissors. Start by applying a base coat to protect your natural nails. To suit the festive season, I applied red or white as a base colour. Depending on the design, I do recommend to apply white as a base because the red polish is much darker and you will need quite a few coats to cover up the red as compared to the white nail polish. The trick is to use a lighter colour for the base and a darker one for the second colour on top. This only applies if you are doing the stencil method. If you choose the sticker method, it doesn't really matter. Applying a thinner layer of two coats will dry faster as compared to one thick layer. For the first design, I started by using normal tape as a sticker to paste onto my nails. I painted the tape a few coats of red and wait for it to dry. It depends on the pattern or how it is being put to see the results of the lines. You can put it randomly or in a specific way for all your nails. It is personal preference, I did mine to imitate a candy cane. Putting the nail tape just helps to cover up the base colour of your nails. In my case, that is the white nail polish. If you put more tape, you are just covering more of the base colour. Less tape means there will be more of the second colour. For my design, my second colour is red. The next method is using the scotch tape as a stencil. For this, please make sure that your nails are extremely dry if you choose to paste any tape on your nails. If not, there is a chance nail polish will stick to the tape and come off when the tape is removed. To help that, just before sticking the tape onto your nails, stick the tape to your palm to make it less sticky. Another alternative is to use medical tape. Medical tape tends to be less sticky. It might be a little bit more pricey than regular tape, but you can get these at drugstores. Then again, if you really want to compare, medical tape is cheaper than going to a nail salon. An extra step you can do is to put hand cream or lotion onto your hands. This will make your hands more moisturised and also make your hands oily so the tape will not stick. I cut the tape into pieces and paste it on my nails. For easier removal when you are done, it is better to make the tape slightly longer than the size of your nails. This is good for careless people like me to prevent touching and smudging your nails especially if the nail polish is not completely dry. After putting tape, please remember to press the tape firmly onto your nails so the nail polish do not seep through. When removing the tape, make sure the second layer of nail polish is semi-dry, not too wet or dry. This will help to make the lines clean and sharp. If it is too wet, your lines may smudge, but if it is too dry, the lines may run and not stick as well. Apart from the straight line kind of designs, you can make pattern ones too. I used my chevron scissors to cut the tape. I made a marking on my scissors to make it easier to cut. The marking really does help. If not, the shapes may turn out differently. Both the tapes have different shapes. One is more of a diamond shape and the other is more of a zigzag chevron pattern. Besides the different shape, the method is the same as the first one, so please refer to that. Next up is the nail tape. 
All of the steps are very similar as compared to the normal tape. The only difference are that striping tapes are much thinner. Just like before, you can use the tape to paste onto your nails as a design. Another way is to use it as a stencil. Paint over them and remove the tape to get the designs. If you are using a striping tape, you can use additional tools such as tweezers to help you. If you need to remove nail tape, it would be good to know the order of how you put the tape down so when removing, you can remove them in the reverse order without touching or overlapping another piece of tape. One thing I will add is that this is tape and it isn't permanent. It is possible that the tape may peel off over time. To prevent that, apply a top coat on your nails. There are other factors which may cause the tape to peel off. For example, the type of work or chores you do. Doing the dishes and soaking your nails in water may cause the tape to peel off. So just be a little bit more careful and cautious. To clean up, I took some nail polish remover and a cotton bud and remove any excess mess. And that's it for this video. I hope you will like it. Feel free to leave any comments below and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!